Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This is a video where we will be studying about the fragments. So what are fragments? You would have seen tablets like this in which you are able to have two kind of two parallel activities running together, right? You like you click on this one and the detail comes over here. But in the mobile phone, the view is like this. Like say you are you are on setting page. You turn, you switch, you go to the wireless page and you are direct to the Wi-Fi is available. But here in this one, you are able to have both the views placed simultaneously parallel to each other. How, it, how does it happen? It happens because this activity is having two fragments. The first one being the fragment A and second being the fragment B. Now what is the fragment? A fragment is a piece of an activity which enables more modular activity design because this can be controlled from the activity itself. It will not be wrong if we say a fragment is a kind of a sub-activity. So whenever a fragment is added, it basically comes to the on attach. In the on attach, it means that there has been a call made to a fragment. Here the flow comes to the on create and till here the flow is working on its own. It's trying to fetch the fra uh, fragments and you know, things are going in the background. Then comes the most important method which is on create view. On create view basically is used to create the view. It, it, it basically is used to inflate the layout which you want to use in our uh, activity over there. This would be running a view to us. After this, we have the method that is the on activity created. This method is actually called after the view has been successfully created and is ready to be loaded. Then, when activity is created, uh, functions or methods of the activity like find view by ID and other activity parameters are live to be used in our own fragment. Then the flow comes to the on start. Here it means that the activity is ready for user interaction. Then the flow comes to on resume. Say like if you have been, uh, if you missed and by chance or if you missed the application last time or you have resumed, you are resuming from previous state, you can use this state to continue, continue your application running to the, to the way it was running. Like say if, it, if the application has gone into background, on resume helps you to, you know, uh, recapture or re, uh, get, your, re get your state so that you can continue to use the application where you were running. Say if other activities or, or other fragments are, are about to come online or are about to take the main space, the flow comes through on pause. Then if it's it's over or if the on pause has been called and we are not and the fragment is not getting used up, then we call the on stop. And after on stop, the view is destroyed. By view destroyed, we, we mean that whatever layout was inflated has been removed or has been dealing and the on destroy is about to be called. Here we are having two options. Either we destroy the view and we recreate a view and we go to the on create view or else we on we go to on destroy which means that the fragment would be destroyed. And in the in the on destroy function or in the on destroy methods, uh, we do uh, functions like you know removing of extra memory or, or any occup any occupied memory that was there is freed or we you can say a kind of garbage collection is done over here. Then the fragment is detached from the running activity or from the host activity and the fragment is destroyed. So this is a typical life cycle of the fragment. Now let's see at the fragment's life cycle methods one by one. So here are the methods that we are having. The first one being the on attach. Basically this is called when an active, uh, this is associated with an activity instance. The fragment and the activity are not fully initial, initialized but yes, there is a reference that yes, the activity will use this fragment for the further work on create. This is called when creating the fragment. We basically initially essential components that we want to retain when the fragment is paused or stopped and then resume. Basically say you, you think that your fragment is coming from previous state or you are having some data that you want to continue using on. Then you, you, you use this particular state to reset or to initialize to that particular level. Then is the on create view. This is the callback time. It means that the user interface is being called for the first time. We draw the UI how we actually call, we actually return the view component. This function is having basically three parameters. First being the layout inflator, second being the parent by which this uh, view group is coming and the last being the uh, boolean in which we, we pass that is this fragment linked to the parent so it's boolean, true or false. So it returns a view and if in case you want that there is no UI to the fragment, just some background activity or background work, then you say that or you return null over here. There is on activity created. This is called uh, after the on create uh, view and the host activity is created. Now here you are 
actually fine to you know use functions and the context and the context objects of the application over here in this on activity created method then we have the on start it, it means that the fragment is visible on resume the fragment becomes active as now ready for work then it's on pause like say that user is about to leave the fragment and uh, when we like this is just to do that if you want to save some changes that have been made we do it over here then we have the on stop fragment is uh, going to be stopped by calling the on stop method itself on destroy view it means that the view for the fragment will be destroyed after this as you know the, the flow can either go to on create view or it will eventually call the on destroy to clean up the state but yes what should be done is it's totally up to the android platform to look and manage it so now let's look at the properties of the uh, fragment so a fragment has its own layout and its behavior has its is, is available within its own life cycle you can add or remove fragment in an activity while the activity is running you can change and you know uh, work on fragments okay whenever you are changing or replacing fragments you need to make sure that you are committing your changes or your uh, through the trans through the fragment transition manager otherwise you won't be able to see them on your ui then you can have multiple fragments in a single activity fragment can be used to have multiple or uh, can be used in multiple activities fragment life cycle is, is related to the host like host activity by host i mean the activity that is initializing or is calling the particular fragment which means that when the activity is paused all the fragments available will also be stopped getting now if the because it's entirely linked with the activity so if the activity is paused then the fragments eventually get stopped then a fragment can implement a behavior which has no user interface we have already discussed this one and the last one the fragments were introduced in the uh, api level 11 that is the honeycomb version so now let's look at the types of of fragments now we are having basically three types of fragments the first being the single frame fragments the list fragment and the fragment transaction so you in a single fragment there's only one frame in a fragment can change the fragments but it's all in one activity and only one frame say the list fragment the very first which we saw on the first page we are having a list we go to the next one all in one activity and then the fragment transition when we transition when we do a transaction from one fragment to another we pass the data or things like that is done in this particular fragment so now let's quickly open up our android studio and see the working of single frame fragment hello guys welcome back again as we have already seen the fragment the life cycle of fragments now let's see how we can actually implement a single frame fragment in our application let me go to my uh, layout file that is activity underscore main.xml here i have taken up a fragment here there are fragments like this right now what we do is we are showing one fragment based on the need that like you know which fragment is based it's totally on the basis of the orientation so i have added up this fragment this is lm fragment landscape mode fragment it is extending fragment and in a similar way i have created another fragment pm fragment ported mode fragment right and for them i have created the views also like this is my uh, landscape fragment view in which in this i am having a, a normal linear layout and, and a text view and the portrait mode also i am having a linear layout and a text view you can add up your more components as per your easy it's fine and this these are the two different fragments we are having we are differentiating them based on the colors and the text that is shown now what happens is as soon as the on create of my activity is called the fragment we get the object of the fragment manager why we need the object of the fragment manager because we need now a transaction between the two fragments like for this i am changing I'm, like if it's in landscape mode right i want the landscape mode fragment over there so for that i change the transaction and for that particular transaction in fact i need a fragment transaction so the fragment manager gives me the instance of the transaction and begins the transaction if the transition has begun i can perform three main operations the add the remove or the replace in this one i would be replacing the fragment now let's see how we check the orientation of the screen say the orientation is landscape in nature i make the new instance of the lm uh, of the lm fragment as ls fragment by creating its constructor and call the replace right so this object of this ls of this lm fragment is passed over here right 
and if it's portrait I click on the portrait one and PM fragment is passed now first let's take the example of LM fragment or the landscape fragment which is passing the object as LS fragment now let me go to my LM fragment file and see what happens over there so whenever the view is created it would be getting three parameters first is the ID of the layout which which is to be inflated this is LM underscore fragment it is present under the layout folder after this which view group or in under which view group you have to inflate the fragment I take it as container and the last being is this fragment to be inserted into the view group I take it as false because I don't want the fragment to be the part of the container view group right so this would be returning me a proper view this view is going to here and would be set up so I go to a main activity now I'm having a view and once I commit my transaction over here I would be able to actually see the effect of the transaction guys please note if you have not committed your transaction you would not be able to uh, see any changes in the fragment fragment uh, transaction committing is is necessary without this you won't be able to have any use or any you know you won't be able to use the fragment thing for that matter so now say the mode has changed it again comes into this one and looks okay there is a replacement so this object is passed over here and we go to the PM fragment here also we have on create view method we are getting the layout inflator the inflator over here and the container over here we simply call the inflate method on the inflator using the r.layout.pm uh, fragment and the container or the view group which is linked and we just simply pass that if the you know if this fragment is to be linked with the root or not I pass it as false so after this I get a view and now I can simply set up this view and would be able to see the effect only after I have performed a commit in my transition of the fragment now where are we getting this orientation from we are having a configuration class which is which gives me the configuration uh, of the of the screen we make its object and it gets the configuration for the particular phone that we are using or the device we are using we check if configuration dot orientation is equal to equal to landscape or if the or else if it is not landscape then it, it has to be ported there are no other options available so now with this let me run this application onto my phone and see the result so this is the portrait phone is in portrait mode I take it as portrait now let me change the phone into landscape mode see it says this is a landscape mode fragment and it has been successfully changed so guys I hope you have got the idea of fragments now see in this was a uh, for small screen phones for screens like when we are having multiple like tablets at that point we load the two fragments parallelly that is a different thing that a different concept but if you are making a video player you want to have a full screen as soon as the user is turning the phone at that point you can perform such operations so thank you guys for tuning in that was all from our side for fragments stay tuned as we take you through the other sessions in detail